Hey yo, E King Fight News. Is Dillian White? Is your boy Dillian White ducking Kubra Pulev right now? Your boy Dillian White, the body snatcher. Is he, is he trying to avoid this Kubra Pulev fight? You see, you see, you see what what Eddie Hearn. You see where that gets you. You see that Eddie Hearn work that he doing for you. Man, I bet Dillian White must be pissed off right now. He's got to be pissed. And and fans are picking up on the fact that he's trying to duck this man, Kubrat Pulev, instead of take a fight in Bulgaria. E King fighting. He's more on the story. Yeah, let's just for a minute. So there's Dillian White cutting a jig. <laughs> nah, apparently he's he's working on head movement, I guess. And check this out. We are working, baby. We working, baby. We working, let's go. July 28th, time for war. I wonder who's going to get it. Team Body Snatcher. Look at this. Are you not going to fight Pulev then? Jerwin Davies. Body Snatcher. Why don't you want to fight Pulev anymore? Marion Lazarov. You always want to fight in your own country. And if the fight is risky, you skip it. Ah. Look at this one. Dillian, you're a big boy. Don't put off the fight against Kubrat Pulev. Accept the challenge and come to Bulgaria to make this fight happen. Hey, this ain't me, guys. It's, it's, I'm not even saying he's ducking Kubrat Pulev. It's the fans are saying that shit, man. He can't fight news, man. Y'all know what it is. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Let's go, let's go. Okay, let's see some more comments. Let's see some more comments on this one. Not Ortiz. Hearn is keeping his babies safe. Oh, man. I told you that's what A. Hearn going to get you, man. Dillian going to slap Ortiz up and Beyonce. Well, okay. Okay. He's shown very little interest in Ortiz. And when it comes to pushing for a Deontay Wilder fight, Eddie Hearn <clears throat> doesn't even believe you can win. I'll tell you that much. So, um... Hold on, hold on a second. More on this, guys. Alrighty, King fighting you. So what it seems to me is your boy Dillian White. Your boy Dillian White is looking for one of those uh, showcase fights at the O2. He's, I think he's looking to skip over this potential shot at the IBF mandatory. He's looking to skip over a shot at Luis Ortiz. He's shown no interest in that fight. Just ask Jay Jimenez, manager of Ortiz. All you got to do is give him a call. You haven't done it yet. Um, you know, Eddie Hearn, man. You see where Eddie Hearn gets you? He's going to get you the Lucas Browns of the world to look good against. You know what? There's not too many heavyweights out here other than... Guys like Sefer Sefery, <laughs> the guy Tyson Fury's fight. What's he gonna do? Bring up a cruiserweight? What is Dillian White gonna do? Cause uh, I don't know. Who knows? Who who knows what's gonna happen? Eddie Hearn's gonna have to talk his way out of this one. And c will it be Dillian White to pull out? Will it be him to pull out? Let's let's take a look at what Eddie Hearn had to say about the lost purse bid that caused. All of this mayhem, E King fight news, guys. All right, so in case you guys don't know, the backstory behind this is Eddie Hearn lost the purse bid for this fight, Dillian White versus Kubrat Pulev, and Hearn talks about Better V versus Johnson, Pulev versus White. So Eddie Hearn only bid about eight hundred thirty-one thousand, and he got beat. 
by this unknown American-based company, Epic Sports Entertainment, who bid $1.5 million, along with $111. It's quite strange. <laughs> the winner of the fight, which will see, uh, which will become the mandatory challenger for Anthony Joshua, is said to take place in Pulev's homeland of Bulgaria if he takes this fight. So Dillian White is going to get paid around 300k, around 300k to go over. To Bulgaria to fight Kubrat Pulev. Otherwise, if he ducks this fight, perhaps he can touch 500k and headline in the O2 again against bumass Lucas Brown or whoever, whoever it may be, whoever Eddie Hearn finds for him. You see how that works? So you got to take the pro with the con with Eddie Hearn. He can set you up with a bum fight. But you will be known, Dillian. Dillian, if you if you duck out on Kubra Pulev, they ain't gonna call you the body snatcher anymore. They ain't gonna call you that anymore. You're gonna be the duck snatcher. <laughs> if you duck, if you duck snatcher, Dillian White. Oh man, absolutely. It ain't gonna be duck squad anymore. It's gonna be duck snatcher. And that's just how it's gonna be. I'm telling you guys, and the fans know it. They're already sensing. And what's Dillian White talking about July 28? What is he talking about July 28? Did y'all see that? Y'all saw that right on his Instagram? I'll show it to you again. I gotta go back to his Instagram now. Fucking shit. This is your boy Dillian. Dillian White. Your boy Dillian White. What is this? I'm working, baby. Let's go. July 28th. Time for war. He wonders who's going to get it. Shouldn't you be talking about Kubrat Pulev? Shouldn't you be talking about that title shot that you want to so desperately get? Huh? Oh, you'll fight anybody except that the beast from Bulgaria, except that guy? Fuck out of here, man. This guy, just like all the other duckers, cowards in boxing, AJ's one of them. If he doesn't fight Wilder, I'm telling you guys. Call it like I see it, man. Kell Brook has more balls than both of these guys combined. Stepping up to fight Triple G, stepping up to fight Earl Spence Jr. I haven't seen any aspect of that in Dillian White. It, if Dillian White really wanted to fight Deontay Wilder, as he as he has said several times, you know what he would do? He would dare him to take the fight in New York or in Vegas. Just say, hey, let's go. I'm coming to New York. You know, why didn't he show up for Wilder's fights? Huh? Why doesn't Dillian White... Show up in New York and show up for a Wilder fight. That's that's the easiest way to set up a fight is to come see that man. You know, you know what it is like. Deontay Wilder, he's already said he'll see any man behind the scenes, in front of cameras. Doesn't matter. So I mean, shit. It's it's clear who's ducking these days and. Um, I'm telling you, Dillian White should have no one to blame for this except Eddie Hearn, but instead, he might take a bum fight in the O2, maybe in the undercard of AJ, who knows, who knows what it's going to be, but, because <laughs> that's what they, is that not what they did last time? No, they had Dillian White headline against um, Lucas Brown, and a you know the worst part is HBO? bought that shit they bought a, a total mismatch from Eddie Hearn and it's like they bought it with a smile and shit like like HBO wake up guys honestly wake up 
that that would never be on HBO two two years ago, three years ago. Bullshit, you know? Just straight shit is what we got there. With Lucas Brown. Specifically with Lucas Brown. You know, no no shade to Dillian White, he showed up. But that boy Lucas Brown looked like he fucking heading right to the beach after he got his ass whooped, man. Fuck out of here. Lucas bum-ass Brown, man. He can't fight news. Is Dillian White ducking Kulev? You guys let me know. He can't fight news, man. We out. Peace out. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.